we have hosted a wild card game against Buffalo. So that's the Music City Miracle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's everybody's first playoff game. I might have had a handful of guys that had playoff experience. Mm-hmm. If, if that's being generous. So the first playoff game uh, is a hard play. Is a hard thing. So you tell them, hey, look, we'll find a way to win it. The next one's going to get better. The next one's going to get better. But this one is going to be hard just because of the emotions and all that stuff. And sure enough, it was hard. I mean, they kicked the field goal with 16 seconds left. And we were seconds. down. And we had been working this play um, every weekend, uh, every Saturday. We, we worked the play. You know, like you go through those things in the walkthrough. You got to go through and, every, um, every possible situation. Every situation. Yeah. Yeah. We were, I was a scenario guy and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So then you do the pro- trick play and you're like, oh, we're yeah, so yeah. Pro- yeah. what are we doing this? We're yeah, going to this. Asshole never players. Players. Well, here's the thing, you guys, yeah. we were talking about Darren Bates. Darren will tell you that um, on on it, every single Monday, I'll put at least two, maybe three punt fakes in and a field goal fake in. And those guys know that I'm going to call it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Other places you've been, uh, you'll have your fake and you practice it. And you know the guy, coach is never going to call it. Yeah, yeah. But they know I'm going to call it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So, so they're always into that stuff and everything. So prior to the, the year, you guys remember the Stanford Cow game years ago and the band and the laterals and, and the everybody's guys running through and the, the band yeah, in the, the field. Band and, uh, all right. Well, what we had was we had our Stanford Cow team. Mm-hmm. And that was the last play of the game. All right, you get, you're, you're behind. You're going to get the kickoff. How do we get the ball in the end zone? So I would take. No, wouldn't include you guys, unfortunately. No well, disrespect, right. well, but I would get all the athletes. I would get all the athletes. Okay, okay, all right, okay. That's two disrespectful comments in okay. less than hey, ten we, seconds. We, yeah. they, would go, they would go hands team yeah. at the Raiders, and yeah. then I would come off the field. I'd be yeah. like, hey, white guys, yeah. get off the field. Yeah. 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 All the white guys don't play anymore. White check. You go ahead. So I had left-handed and right-handed guys, and our deal for years was just to try to keep the ball alive and throw it around and lateral it and. There was no method to the madness, but right. that was our team. Backyard, yeah. backyard Pro- football. Prior to, so right at the start of the 99 season, Alan Lowry, the special teams coach, came to me and goes, Hey, I found this play during the summer and da da da. I go, This is really cool. Let's, we'll put it in, but let's wait till we get down to the roster. Where did he, where did he find the play? It was in a the Texas, summer. Texas, like 60s from the uh, Texas. A copycat Texas, 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 Worked it every Saturday, and and every Saturday we had our team, and we take eleven guys, usually practice squad guys, and they you know no helmets, and we kick the ball out here or there, wherever. You kick it to anybody. If you're a frontline guy in the kickoff return team, you're the center. We're gonna hit the ball to you. What are you gonna do with it? You got to get it back to Frank. Mm-hmm. Okay, or okay. someone's got to get the ball to Frank. So every every week, every weekend, every Saturday, we worked it. So sure as shit, we come down to the, to the end of the Buffalo game, and there's a TV timeout after their after their field goal, and and Alan walks up to me, and we simultaneously go. Home run throwback. Oh, yeah. So now I'm looking for Derek Mason. Okay. Because Derek Mason Stud. was our deep guy. Yeah. Okay. Derek is out. Okay. Derek has a concussion. He's next week someplace. Okay. <laughs> so now, number two, I'm looking. Now, this is during TV timeout. I'm looking for he's out. Okay. So our number two was was uh, Anthony Dorsett Jr. And AD was cramping. You ever, oh, in your career, you ever been a, around a, a teammate that just cramped all the time? That's him. him. 100%. Okay. I'm, okay. Uh, I'm a cramper. It's 45 degrees out there. Yeah. And he's You're just cramping. wondering what the fuck. He like, yeah. Making yeah. us look like a bunch of pussies I, yeah. out here. <laughs> so, <laughs> no so, question. So, I'm such so a bitch. AD's cramping so i kevin dyson is i'm yelling dice get over here and dice is like yeah coach now dice i i'd love kevin and and kevin when we got him it's the first round pick out of utah or utah state or whatever and he, he's he acted like the california kid it's like oh whatever okay yeah so i'm kevin okay home run throwback yeah coach i said we worked it every saturday i, I didn't pay attention I said, Kevin, all you need to do. Well, he, you, you had a player tell you, you Coach, didn't pay I didn't pay attention. He was oh. number. He was number three. He didn't have to pay attention. Yeah. I just said, so okay, quick. I said, hey, look, whatever happens out there, we're gonna get the ball to Frank, okay? Mm-hmm. And all you do, I want you to stay outside the numbers here. These numbers, yeah. okay, 10, 20, 30, and we'll get the ball to you and stay ten yards behind Frank. Yes, I got you, Coach. So <laughs> I don't so, know what to do, Coach. I got you. He just tells them yeah. I oh, got no. you. But yeah, everybody sure. else, everybody else had the play down. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. everybody knew. We all knew. Everybody knew what was going on. The only thing that was different was of all the kicks we worked on every Saturday during the, throughout the season, never worked on that particular kick. It was a just kind of a just a bloop kick to Lorenzo Neal. We would hit him hard here, hit him hard to the center, hit him hard to the tackle, or hit him to the deep guy and whatever. But that that little bloop kick was something that was just 
for whatever reason never worked on. Mm-hmm. So the ball is kicked on. Oh, yes. oh, oh, fuck. So oh, yeah. So, yeah. So Lowe catches the ball. Well, Lowe's smart. He doesn't want it. He yeah. gives it to Frank. Yeah. Dyson's over there picking flowers. And Kevin's <laughs> standing back over here. And you'll see, here's Lowe. He catches the ball. All right. He's going to get rid of it. Oh, my gosh. You hear Frank. You take it. Frank yeah. sets it up, sells it, and comes back. Look at that. 10 yards behind the ball, right? Just like we told him. Yeah. Now, how about 10, <laughs> 10 yards? 10 yards. So, so the right, there, reaches right back. there, I'm yelling, get out of bounds, because field goal ties. And then I look ahead. I go, oh, my gosh. Get in the end zone. So see the kid jumping on the left? I don't know if you can back it up, but uh-huh. because yeah, that's yeah, a funny story. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Talk about this part too. Okay, keep going so, running. So this is this is controversial city right here. What do you oh, think no. would have what do you think would have been called had there been replay? Well, it, there is replay. There, there is was, th- there this was game there? went to review. Oh. Oh yeah. Shit. No, the 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 wing official right behind Frank on their sideline is Byron Boston, and Byron Boston points a, a lateral. So mm-hmm. he points to his right, to our right, his left. And I saw that. So I knew it was ruled the lateral on the field. Okay, Which is so half the battle. It it's going to stand It now. is. It's yeah, probably going to stand. A lot of gray area. Yes. Yeah, so you have to, yeah. So it's ruled the lateral. Now Kevin cleans it. He makes the, makes the, you know, the play here and then he goes. So, you know, right about here, I'm looking to my left going, oh my gosh, you know, hey, we got a chance here. Let's, you know, I'm yelling, get out of bounds, Kevin, because field goal gives us a chance. And then I said, oh, my gosh, here we go, score. So right here on the left, right on the end zone, jumping in the goal line, right there, that kid right there. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, this is a good story. This, this, look, kid, this right kid right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Make okay. sure you put so an arrow I'm on to Now that we've seen that, I'm going to reference this. But anyway, um, so the ruling on the field is a lateral. They're going to go to replay. Okay. So, and I now, as a coach, I'm on the sideline going, okay, do, 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 do. This thing's going to, this thing's going to stand. Uh, they can't overturn it. It's too close. Um, I have to go for two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause this touchdown puts us ahead by five. Right. Okay. I have to go for two. And I'm thinking, when this is announced, there's no way our offensive group would be able to execute a play. Right. Okay, right. I mean, you're, you're well, like you're, you're looking at it, and, and so you're, you're, suppo- what the you're supposed what's to be making, what's making you think that. Sorry, There's because, no way because be of the motions look, and look shit the, and everything. Music City Miracle just yeah. happened. You have no chance yeah. to win the game in 16 seconds. Yeah. Everyone thinks, oh, f- we're fucking done. Well, good yeah. year, boys. So why this is happening? Okay. okay, this is cool. Why this is happening? Bud Adams, our owner, mm-hmm. is in the elevator going down. Mm-hmm. Okay, because the game was over. My dad was in the bathroom he was in he came in from california to see the game he's in the restroom okay there's probably 65 maybe sixty-six thousand people here to this day there's maybe a hundred thousand people that said they were there yeah, okay? yeah. yeah. <laughs> right yeah and people all over nashville <laughs> Hell, i was there people yeah. <laughs> all over nashville in the intersections are stopped listening and getting out of their cars and going nuts in in intersections all over yeah and the whole place is going crazy so as as history would have it um i went for the extra point it was good we went freaking crazy on the sideline we, we kicked the extra point kick the ball off because in my mind what are the odds of this happening twice in the same game right you know <laughs> yeah. no way well what people fail to to bring up is after we kicked the ball off to buffalo they pitched the ball around they pushed that sucker past midfield and the game ended that's unbelievable <laughs> asshole so, tight as yeah. shit like yeah. god damn it tackle the motherfucker <laughs> yeah. mm.